Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a little haul for you guys from Country Craft Creations and I wanted to do this haul because I'm going to be opening up all of these things with you guys. So I basically just got a couple of punches. So I got this one, which is EK Tools Large Punch. And I also got this We Are Memory Keepers Edge Punch. It's like a scallop lace. And then I just got like this little um, ribbon. But let me show you guys everything in detail. We're going to open these up and I'm going to compare it to some other products that I have in my stash. And I'll let you guys know why I got these. All right. So let's get started. All right. So just to start off real quick, um, I saw Tiffany do a haul video um she got this trim and i thought it would be so cute inside of an album especially on a waterfall it's like a super thin uh ribbon but it would be like the perfect little closure for a waterfall well this is an interesting piece right here it's like this got put together it did <laughs> Well, that's interesting um but i could still use that for something probably on like some little tags or whatever but you just i ordered some of this like a uh, ribbon here um then i got this large punch so let me show you guys what i already have so i have this tab punch now this tab punch i wanted to get this one because this one only punches out the half. So if I show you guys here, uh, let me actually do this side so I can show you something. Um, so it just punches out a half. I always stuck these two pieces together. I would cut out, like punch out two and stick them together. Apparently what you're supposed to do is fold your paper first and then um, kind of punch it up all right so but see that doesn't really work that way it would have to be the other way let me just fold this again this way see the only thing is for me how am I supposed to do it this way if the folding part should be at the top like that doesn't make sense to me then this would have to be upside down like I'd much rather have this on this other side so I could put in my folded paper along the edge so that's where it doesn't really make sense to me. But when I was, I don't know, reading up on this, apparently you're supposed to just fold your paper in half. It, like I said, it makes no sense. It would be much easier. See, it still doesn't like make sense. It would be much easier for me to put my paper folded this way um, because it goes in like this rather than this way where I don't really know how much space I have to work with. But I'm gonna go ahead and punch that out. This is the folded. Well, I guess I wasn't on the line, but it did punch out my two pieces easily. But anyway, I wanted to guess something else because I recently also got a new punch that is smaller in size. This one is from Amazon that I've been using on my three by four size mini notebooks. So after I got this one, I was like, wow, I really like how this punches out both pieces and all you got to do is fold it. So I'm going to go ahead and put my paper in. Okay. And all you got to do is fold it and then you just glue that. Isn't that so much easier than trying to like glue down one piece then matching it up and then gluing down the other piece like this is already kind of like matched up for you. So after I got this one, I was like, well, now I need a larger one. And when I saw Tiffany shared um, that EK Tools has a new one and she got it from Country Craft Creations, I was like, okay, I'm going to get um, that one also because I really don't love this one. It takes up so much more time um, to also just glue it like double times in a sense. So let me open this guy up and we're going to see how large those pieces are. So this one was for the other one. Why can't I open this? It's like 
this little piece is like in there real good. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Okay. So this one, actually, I like that it doesn't, I mean, I don't know if I like that it doesn't have the bottom piece. I always uncover it when I punch, but I feel like it's also nice to have as like a safety thing. But anyway, this already looks a little bit smaller, but I'm going to put some paper here. Is this locked? I never had an EK. Oh, that is locked. Okay. I never had an EK tools one, um, but I'm going to put my paper in here. We're gonna punch this out. That punched out nice and easily. And okay, so it is a little bit of a different shape, but it folds. Look at that, right? So I really, really like that. And compared to this, I mean, I'll probably still keep this because that one looks more like a traditional punch. This one, I would probably glue down on those um, tab pieces and have that other piece sticking out. Um, I guess it's about the same size. If you could tell, maybe I should do that in another color. Let me punch it out from here <laughs> using the scraps that are on my table. That doesn't really fit. Okay. Hold on. I have plenty of scraps in my stash, so. Let's go with this piece of paper. Um, so I'm gonna put this in. I'm using scraps that are way too small. Oh, here we go. Uh, okay. So this piece, I really do like that it folds though. But if you could see on this one, it's a little bit um, shorter in this tab part. The length here seems to be the same on the bottom, but the actual tab part, this one's a little smaller with this new punch, but I like it because I could just punch it out once, not have to punch out two and stick them together. So that's why I picked that up. So I definitely would recommend this um, if you guys been looking for like a tab punch. And I will also link this one down below um, that I got from Amazon. It says two inch because the whole thing here is two inch, but again, you fold it. Um, last time I checked, they didn't have it available anymore. Um, and I did get this fairly recently. So it's not like I got it a long time ago, but a lot of you guys have bought it and now it says it's currently unavailable or the last time I checked. Um, but I will link it just in case it does become available. Um, so I also got this edge punch. Apparently what Tiffany said is that uh, we are memory keepers, which this still says we are memory keepers, but I thought this was a new thing. Um, they're now called we are makers, but apparently they bought Martha Stewart. And I have, I don't even know if this is Martha Stewart. This might be a Martha Stewart print. No, this is what is scrap berries? <laughs> I don't even know. I have this punch in my stash and it's a little bit bulkier um, than this. So I wanted to try um, this one out and this just gives nice edges on paper when you um, kind of like punch them out and stuff. So I wanted to see what this looks like. Let me just... Does anyone open this packaging real nicely? Because I clearly have never learned how to open this nicely if there's a way to do that. But anyway, this is the new punch. It's a lot more compact than this one. And I'm gonna throw these pieces out. All right, I have a scrap here. Let's see. So, I'm gonna, I like how these have like a little lock mechanism closure, which makes them even kind of like flatter and they stay closed, which is cool. Um, so I'm going to punch this out. Actually, hold on. I'm also going to cut this off so you guys could see both sides. This was a scrap from the project I made, um, that I was working on the other day, literally yesterday, 
but by the time you guys see this, it might be like two days ago I was working on the project. But okay, just trying to make my edges nice. So with this new punch, all you do is you're gonna punch. Is that supposed to go all the way in? It is, isn't it? Okay, so you're gonna per punch your new one. I'm lining it up with that line. How does this punch? Oh, that is really hard to punch. Um, anyway, you line that up and then you line up these pieces on this side so that you could get the nice continuous edge. So I'm trying to line mine up here. And I keep moving it. It's hard. All right, this one's a little hard to punch, but you keep going and it makes your nice, oh my God. <laughs> I don't know if I like this anymore. It's so hard. I mean, I could do it on a desk, but I shouldn't need two hands. Anyway, so it creates this nice uh, border right there as you guys could see and you make this nice mess here because there's no little like tray at the bottom um, but this other one that I have from scrap berries wherever that is from I actually might like this one better now um, it doesn't have a guide of like where to start so I'm just gonna kind of start in the center is what I normally do and you could see that's a little different. This one has more of a fancy border here. This one has a little bit of that border. This one has like double. Um, but same idea, you line this up on the other side now and then just punch again. And you keep going, lining them up. And this one's much easier to work with. Maybe I just need to put like some wax paper on the other one. Oh, I messed up somewhere. Okay, so I messed up here somewhere, as you guys could see, but two different edges. This one is way more fancier, so I guess I'll keep it because I really do like that edge. I like how that looks. Um, so anyway, that's why I got this one. I thought it was like a replacement for this one. I thought it was like the same design, but this one is not. But I will try to punch this out onto like some wax paper or something because it's a little hard to punch with one hand. Maybe I should try with this side. All right, let's try this one. Let's make a pink one. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> it really is hard to punch. Okay. So, I don't know why that's so hard. I mean, if you want to use two hands, but it's not something I normally want to do. I should be able to punch it with one hand, right? Okay, so I would have to keep going, but that's kind of like what that looks like and how nice would this be? Even if you wanted to double layer this, you could layer, you could do like a little shadow or you could just layer this one underneath like that. Or you could even do a double layer like that. Maybe this would match up on this one too. No, those don't match up. Maybe this way. Nope, they don't match up. They're spaced out differently, but you get the idea. Um, I do like how this old other one that I have has that tray because all these little bits and pieces get all over your desk um and make a mess so i'm like i don't know how i feel about this i'm gonna keep it but it is a lot harder to punch this one and it doesn't have a tray whereas this old one that i have does have a tray so it doesn't make as much of a mess um even though as i'm spitting that around right now things are falling out but i do recommend this punch this is kind of heavy though heavier than um, this tab punch um, but I mean you could just you know leave this on your desk or whatever um, I do recommend this one though because you can fold your tabs in half and I really really 
do happen to like that, which is why I even got this one in the first place. I like being able to just fold the tabs and call it a day. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to share with you guys a quick little haul of what I picked up. Show you guys what the product to look like, I guess, after I made this nice mess on my desk. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, maybe you guys now have something that you're adding to your shopping list. And like I said, I will try to use some wax paper on this, hopefully making it a little bit easier to punch out. Um, and I guess we'll see how that turns out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will have, um, I'll try to have these products linked down below for you guys. And that is everything. So I will see you guys in my next crafty video. Talk to you soon. Bye.